The F-47 fighter is a cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD initiative, a bold program designed to replace the aging F-22 Raptor and maintain U.S. superiority in the skies. Envisioned as part of a family of systems, the F-47 will operate as the central manned aircraft supported by a fleet of autonomous collaborative combat aircraft, CCA. While the NGAD development contract was originally set for award in 2024, the program was temporarily paused by the Secretary of the Air Force. The decision followed soaring cost projections, placing the estimated price tag for each F-47 at nearly three times that of an F-35, and growing concern over whether the original program model was still viable in light of rapid technological advancements by global adversaries. After a period of internal reassessment, President Donald Trump announced on March 21, 2025, that the $20 billion engineering and manufacturing development contract for the F-47 would be awarded to Boeing. The market responded swiftly. Boeing's stock surged 7% following the announcement, while Lockheed Martin's dropped 5.7%. Along with this major contract award came a sweeping change in how the Air Force will manage the F-47's development. The program represents a significant departure from the acquisition strategy used on the F-35, aiming to give the military more control over the aircraft systems, data, and long-term evolution. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin highlighted this new approach during a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, telling Senator Roger Wicker of Mississippi that the F-47 program is structured to avoid the pitfalls of previous efforts. The main difference is that we now have far more control over the F-47 as it progresses, Alvin said. We've brought more procurement in-house, we own more of the technology base, and we've implemented a government reference architecture. That means we own the mission systems. Others can participate, but the government controls the development and future upgrades. A government reference architecture GRA, provides a standardized framework for how a system is designed, produced, and sustained. It ensures that the Air Force, rather than a private contractor, maintains authority over essential components and can oversee upgrades without being locked into a single vendor. This change stems from hard lessons learned from the F-35 program. Former Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall was especially critical of the deal struck with Lockheed Martin, calling it acquisition malpractice due to the Pentagon's failure to secure access to critical sustainment and technical data. That deal was shaped by the Total System Performance Acquisition Model, which effectively granted long-term ownership of the aircraft to the contract. As a result, the Air Force has faced delays and complications maintaining the F-35 fleet, a challenge highlighted in a September 2023 report by the Government Accountability Office, GAO. Determined not to repeat those mistakes, Kendall pledged that the NJAD program would follow a modular open systems architecture, giving the Air Force the flexibility to upgrade systems independently and bring in new suppliers over time. Upgrades will now move at the speed of software, not hardware, Alvin explained. They'll be driven by Air Force engineers and operational needs, not by drawn-out contractor negotiations or added costs. This architecture will also apply to supporting systems such as the YFQ-42 and YFQ-44 collaborative combat aircraft being developed by General Atomics and Andural Industries. These unmanned systems will share the same core mission architecture, ensuring seamless upgrades and interoperability. We're not just upgrading a single platform, we're building a system, one that delivers more capability, more efficiently for the American taxpayer.